In this video, we will cover uh, the metabolism mechanism of pancreatic cancer, or in other terms, we can say that how the metabolic metabolism reprogramming occurs in the pancreatic cancer to support its uncontrolled growth rate. So, uh, the basic thing uh, that is needed for the uncontrolled growth rate is the energy, and the uh, basics and the primary source of energy is the glucose so first thing that uh, this first uh, thing that metabolic metabolism reprogramming occurs in this pan uh, pancreatic cancer cells or pancreatic adin adenocarcinoma cells is that is the glucose intake is the increased amount of glucose intake compared to the normal uh, pancreatic cells so and this increased amount of uh, increased number of amount of glucose will lead to several other problems such as the intracellular high lactate concentration will lead to some toxic uh, effects within the cells so in order to uh, take care of that there is a efflux of lactate will also increased in the case of this pancreatic cells and simultaneously the increased amount of glucose will do uh, will take care of uh, some of the essential functions that are necessary for the cell survival uh, such as this uh, PPP or uh, some I am not able to recall the full form it is related to the phosphate uh, non oxidative PPP or it is related to the phosphate reaction that is essential for the cell survival and also this HBP will helps in the glycosylation or we can say post translation modification or uh, specifically of glycosylation of the cells uh, uh, of the glycoproteins and that usually occurs in the uh, endoplasmic reticulum and also in the Golgi apparatus so and these are the genes that are upregulated the genes that are uh, marked in the red are upregulated and so this is about the uh, glucose reaction apart from this uh, what happens is that uh, there is a alternate alternative uh, glutamine uh, alternative uh, glutamine reaction is also uh, reprogrammed in the case of this pancreatic cells and this reaction is reprogrammed with the uh, upregulation or with the production of this transcription factor that is GOT1 and because of this uh, what happens is that uh, the aspartate that is uh, produced during the TCA cycles uh, will be uh, reprogrammed reprogrammed uh, through this GOT or this pyruvate formation and this pyruvate formation will lead to the increased amount of this reactive oxygen species so in order to take care of this uh, redox in order to take care of this reactive oxygen species and maintain the redox mechanism uh, redox uh, stability uh, the, there is uh, another uh, mutation that occurs that is related to the mice uh, metabolism uh, that is related to the mice uh, transcription factors and specifically about this upregulation of this NRF2 and that uh, upregulation of this NRF2 that we have discussed in our uh, one of our previous videos will uh, control this reactive oxygen species that are present uh, within the cells so in the case of cross mutation this will also lead to the upregulation of this antioxidant genes that is such as this NRF2 so that will take care of this uh, redox uh, redox uh, balance or in other term that will take care of this uh, reactive oxygen species apart from this uh, another uh, source of apart from this uh, one of the important source for the cell survival is the nutrients and foods so in order to uh, take care of this nutrients and food uh, one of the process uh, that this uh, pancreatic cancer cells undergoes is this macropinosome uh, what happens in this macropinosome that it will uh, extract or it will uh, extract the extra proteins that are available in the extracellular matrix and simultaneously uh, what happens it will promote this autophagosome uh, autophagosome and because of that what happens there is a degradation of this lysosome occurs and uh, the proteins and amino acids that are uh, essential uh, 
for the cell survival will be recycled from that uh, lysosomes from the degraded uh, lysosomes so this is uh, some brief overview how the metabolism reprogramming occurs in the pdac or pancreatic adeno carcinoma cells and how uh, uh, the pancreatic uh, carcinoma adeno carcinoma cells will be able to survive without too much uh, support from the external uh, source except from this uh, proteins that are that they get from extracellular matrix and the glucose intake and one thing that i forgot to mention is about this uh, glutamine will uh, the glutamine uh, formation or the conversion of this glucose to the energy or in the or in other terms in the form of atp will be done in the tca cycles and this degraded lysosomes with the degradation of the lysosomes the amino acids that are formed uh, will then be used for this tca cycle in uh, mm, along with this glutamine so that will helps in uh, maintaining the uh, sufficient uh, atp or the energy that is required for the growth rate for the growth of this pancreatic adenocarcinoma and also the survival of this pancreatic adenocarcinoma so if you need to understand in detail about the metabolism reprogramming the pdac you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description that's all for this video thank you for your time